welcome everyone to the Soul Station here with the Spiritual V. Um, we are going to jump right on into our subject matter. And the subject matter for this session two, lesson one, is hate. So as we go into the subject, I just want you to know these are introductory. That's what I'm going to label it as introductory scriptures. Okay, because we're going to use the Bible as our main manual. Okay, um, it's an incredible book. You know, and it's one worthy of study. So we're going to start these introductory scriptures, okay, that are going to prepare you for next lessons, okay, for the next session lessons, okay. So we're going to go ahead and start with Proverbs 26, verses 24 through 26. You can have a Bible, you may not, but you may want to jot them down and, um, study this stuff on your own time we are on the subject of hate now you know we started with love the beginning um of the sessions okay and um now we kind of shifting to hate okay and we're not really done with love that's just me introducing the subject matter okay so proverbs 26 24 through 26 says he that hateth dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit within him. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart, whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Okay, so this is dealing with a type of attitude, right? A kind of thinking um, when it comes to hate. This is what hate does the bible said it dissembles it breaks things up right right that's the thing you know and people we know use hate for that very reason so we're going to shift on over to the gill order which is god is love right we talked about that in the first session and we're going to amos the book of amos 5 and that's in the old testament amos 5 verses 14 and 15 okay Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you as you have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good. And it goes on to talk about something else, but I think it's just good enough to start there. Hate the evil and love the good. Now we're going to switch back to Proverbs 6, okay? And that's still in the Old Testament, Proverbs 6. And maybe we'll have a, a study session where I can give you a way that we learn the books of the Bible. Um, it'll help you so you can comb through the book more swiftly, if that's your interest, okay? So Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. Again, you may want to write these down and study these later. These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among the brethren. Again, dissembling in the end, right? Six things they said he hates. The sages said he hates, but seven. You got all seven of them. You just live, you just an abomination according to the Bible. Let's go to Leviticus 19. We're still talking about the gill order, okay? God is love. Leviticus 19. Okay, and we're gonna do verses 17 and 18. The gill order. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Okay. So we're dealing with close relationships, things that we consider bonds, right? Things that we really can't help who our brother and sister is, right? But you get them in an order, according to the Bible, 
to love your brother in your heart. And then it says, and don't rebuke your neighbor. Don't try to correct your neighbor. They're doing hateful things. That's not your job. And I think many of us have had that experience where we didn't have the best neighbor, you know, and you may respond in a way to correct it. But again, that's not your position as a Bible believer, okay? I'm going to say as a Bible believer. Because God is the avenger, right? right? Let's go to Proverbs 8 and 13. And we're going to close out on Gil order for now because it's, 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 it's a lot of scriptures, believe it or not, about hate. But see, we're just trying to discover this thing called hate. Why do people say we shouldn't hate? Why shouldn't we hate? Do you even know what it means? Okay. 8 and 13 says, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy. Mm. And the evil way. And the forward mouth do I hate. We're talking about God, the most high, the one up in heaven. They want everybody looking to. But, but we're being told we should not hate. That hate is wrong. That it's then why does it exist? Right? Because I believe in polarities. There can be no love if there is no hate. Because the two help you understand the other, right? And then it said, what got me, because we know the meaning of pride, arrogancy. Arrogancy is somebody who thinks, I know it all. They, they, got, they got all the answers. They, they know everything. No room for discovery. And the evil way, well, we just talked about the seven abominations, okay? But then it says, the forward mouth, do I hate? I think a lot of us feel like, Somebody that's a contradiction or a hypocrite is a big problem for people. And that's somebody that says one thing and do another, a forward mouth. They're just a contradiction. Nothing never adds up. So how would heaven even know what to do with you? You know what I'm saying? So let's switch on over to the Lou order. And these are all coming this week from uh, the New Testament. We're going to 1 John. And because we discovered 1 John in the other sessions, this way in the back. You know what I'm saying? You got St. John. Okay, but then you have the Epistables of John. Now, with the Epistables of John, um, I believe, uh, you know, Jesus was already gone. Okay, so he's he's a disciple, right about other disciples, I believe. So we got 1 John 2, 9 through 11. We are speaking about hate. And we are speaking of the loot order, the love of us. Remember that? L-O-U. He that said that he is in the light and hated his brother is in darkness even unto now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in the darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whether he goeth because that darkness has blinded his eyes. Where's that, what is that darkness? There go that hate right there. It's in that darkness, right? Now let's go to 1 John 3, 15. Just flip right on to the next chapter. And we're going to St. I'm sorry, 1st Epistle of John 3, 15. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. You know what this reminded me of? Cain and Abel. You know, and we're going to be dabbling with that too, okay? Because there's some, some mysteries behind that. But whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. I, 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 can, I can identify with this description because when you hate something, you think about how to get rid of it. Mm. It doesn't always have to be, you know, there's different ways to murder a person. You can break their heart. You know, people say they have their heart has been so broken, like it's unrepairable. They just feel like, like, like bang, bang, that you just shot me dead. I'm just, you, I, feel, I don't even feel alive anymore. Because to me, that's what hate does. It steals your life. As it, it just so eloquently was put in the other scripture. 
And you don't have no life in you when you're full of this feeling. Okay? So let's go to chapter 4. It's the next one. And go to verse 20. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love God? whom he has not seen. And everything is going back to that core scripture of those seven abominations and also to Proverbs 26, 24 through 26. For this session, I am asking you to take a moment. Take a moment. Take some study time. Get your paper and pencil. Get your Bible. Get your highlighter and begin to brainstorm this particular subject. This word hate. It's all about defining it for yourself so you can live a more elevated life. What is hate to you? Write that word down in the center of some paper and just brainstorm the depth what you think it words. Just come up with words. And then out of those words, we're going to try to define what it is, which will be uh, coming up in our next session. So there will be no board activity this week, and I'm going to leave it here. And I want to thank you so much for tuning into the Soul Station here with the Spiritual B for a spiritual perspective. I hope to see you for the next one. Until then, let truth be your happiness and your healing. Soul Station here with the Spiritual B. Hope y'all doing well. Hope you had a chance to check out the um, Session 2 Lesson 1 um, portion, you know, in the intro. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you are uh, triggered. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started with this nickel status read, which means we have six decks that we're going to... Uh, pull from and then we're going to pull a spiritual back oracle message so i hope you enjoy it i hope it's something you want to hear hopefully well i ain't going to say that but you know if it resonates great if it doesn't fit quit if it fits knit okay knit your quilt all right as i always say and uh, quilt is very important it tells the story it tells the story of life's story and um if you haven't heard T.D. Jake's message, it's called uh, the, Divi uh, the Trust of Dividends, the Dividends of Trust or something like that. He discusses the quilt. And I actually learned something about the quilt that I didn't know. So y'all might want to check it out. You might want to check it out. Okay, so let's see what this planetary lineup is for you for the month of September. And if you have not already, please go ahead and support the station with a big old thumbs. Externally, you'll be dealing with the diamonds or the pentacles of the Uranus. <laughs> My chart fell down. And externally, you're gonna be dealing with the wands or the staffs of Jupiter. So um, here's what you're dealing with this week, this month, I'm sorry, this month. I'll be glad we go back to weekly. Um, Uranus is a um, change of plans. It's putting some plans to rest. It may come by surprise. Something may come to rest by surprise. Some plan may, um, I don't know. I don't know if this is stagnation for you. If this, it, 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 I, I'm hearing erupt, just up abrupt. Maybe there is an eruption of some type, you know. Maybe it comes to mind, you know what I'm saying? And you have to uh, lay it to rest or be put to rest. I don't know if this, because it, it could, something could have been a long time, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully you can put it to rest for the best. But you may be feeling like, I got to put something to rest that I've been working with or dealing with or 
maybe even a ending or a new beginning. This could be employment. Okay, this could be some income that you've been dependent on for a long time. I don't know if it's what we call fixed. I don't know. But it's definitely dealing with plans. Your external energy is coming out of Jupiter. Okay. Uh, there's some exciting energy here. Um, this may be about something that you want to do. Something that comes um, just when you need it. You know, um, still unexpectedly. Um, something that's got you, it's, you're excited to start this again. This could be a job. Because uh, we're dealing with the number five, which deals with commitment, which deals with making money. It deals with obligation, you know. Um, but even with Jupiter, this is not something that has to be, okay? This is like a gift. A gift from the universe, you know. A gift from a relative. A gift from a friend. Um, someone elder. Or older than much older than you I don't know um, but the number 75 or 12 12 is significant here because yeah because you definitely are some of you in a bit of an unknown situation maybe you don't know when things are gonna pick up again or when you're gonna start again you know you don't know how this happened or where it came from because um, Uranus is here okay But on the flip side of that, things are going well. You know what I'm saying? You, you're having new experiences, things that, um, you know, generosity. You, 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 you get a lot of generosity. I don't know if it's coming out of this shock or not, or this um, surprise. I don't know. But let's see what's going on with your moon energy, okay? For the month of September. You can call this a forecast, you can call it your overview. I don't know, but you'll get hopefully your follow up in the next couple of weeks, okay? Until we can get back to the weeklies. External internal energies for our survivors. There you go. Ooh, make it. So you see that? Well, two came out. Um, I guess I'll leave that as the bonus. So that means you ended up getting three. Didn't mean to do that. You got the waning moon and the moon in Capricorn as external. So I'm going to center that since it fell out. And um, it says, let go of that which is causing you inner turmoil. Now is the time for casting away emotions that no longer serve you. It's stuck with Capricorn. So I know it's got a lot to do with maybe your income, your status. Okay. Um, dealing with emotional concerns. Yeah. Focus on achieving or increasing financial security. So I know that's where your stress is coming from. Maybe it comes out of this. Um, this temporary rest, maybe this is a layoff. Um, maybe this was planned. This could definitely be like vacation in a sense. There's something that you realize in about, there's some realization this month. It may be about your plans and your goals and your finances. Because it's definitely, it's in, the, it's in the coins. Maybe about where you have to put the rest of something towards when it comes to your plans or to your money. But externally, you have the moon and cancer. Spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions. This may be where your your generosity, your good luck may come out of this, you know. Having a good time with family and others. I told you, there's some help, some generosity here that you don't see. It's coming out of an experience. You may end up, you know, just volunteering for something or doing, I don't like to say good deeds. You know, but just feeling moved to do something. And something great may come out of this, you know, a payoff that you wasn't even expecting. You know what I'm saying? Some of you, you may just be, you know, with family, maybe, because I call Jupiter uncle. 
You may pop up. You know how them good uncles be, them paid uncles, got money and stuff, and spreading the love around. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Somebody happy to help you. Okay. There may even be a nick an, att an, an attraction here. Okay. This person may be fuller. I say that in, like in terms of size in some way or fashion. Or slim and tall. Very um energetic. Um good looking, sexy, even. Okay, so your reference word for this month is peace closed. Peace close. Maybe you got your peace close. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do that. Okay. And then we're dealing with the home here. You know what I'm saying? Security. We got cancer here. And you peace close. Keeping it close, okay? Or maybe you're saying, put my peace close to this. I don't know. But you will, if this pertains to you, remember this is a general reading. So, um... There may be parts or no parts or half parts or all parts that apply to you or resonate. I don't know. But if it fits, knit. If it doesn't, acquit. Okay? Okay? So let's go ahead and get started with your um, your um, card draw. Um, you get a five-card draw. You have the nickel status read. And um, maybe your reading will reflect the lesson. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Let's see what's going on for September. Again, you can refer to this as a forecast. Or you may say it's an overview. But we will be trying to bring you your follow-up in a couple of weeks. Overall, it's Queen of Swords. Don't play with me, bitch. Okay? Don't play with... Did I say... Damn. Based on the star, you have the Five of Cups here this month. Major, major. You have the Lovers. In the past energy or the present and outcome is queen of pentacles here underlining your energy this month is the nine of wands okay okay so there may be um like i said a disruption an unexpected disruption or a stall or you know a still really in waiting, really in waiting. You're in in waiting. You ready? You ready for the world? You ready to go? You ready to do? You ready to be? You ready, but you're still sort of in an arrested development stage. Um, you may be phasing out of it because you are dressed and ready. You know, um, everything's about preparation, right? Everything. I'm funny, I'm saying it because it's based on the star, and the star to me stays ready. The star stays engrossed in what they're doing on themselves, in their craft, thinking about progress, what to do next. They think about the next stage, okay? They think about the appearance, okay? And I'm, I'm noticing that's really, really important here. You know, maybe it's about you being ready for the stage, okay? Are you ready for the stage? Maybe you are in entertainment, theater, you know, maybe you're practicing this in college or university. I don't know. This is about, I keep hearing so for some of you, stardom. You, you have or you do feel sort of trapped. You know, really by yourself. But, uh, but I keep hearing in waiting, you know. Um. It may be coming out of this five of cups because here it's definitely a disappointment or separation or some bullshit that you have you've been dealing with this and you haven't held your tongue whatever it is uh something's been put in a place before and i'm sure you have been very honest and straightforward because we have the queen of swords here Okay, I don't know where this is coming from. Uh, I don't know if this is a business issue, a personal issue. Mm. 
I mean, it can be a work issue. This is front and center stage this month. Okay. I ain't in on your spirit. Okay. You keep one eye open and one eye closed, baby. Okay. Even in your sleep. No matter what you do, there's an eye open at all times this month. Okay. It's coming out of the lover's energy. Okay. So for some of you, this is a deep relationship. A very um flirtatious, um, physical, um, deep attraction here. Uh, it's what, why I say that because it's like you can't help it. You know, it's one of those when I see you, I want to touch you and feel you. I want, I want to kiss all over you. I want to, you know, feely feel. You know, it's it's something you can't help. You know it. It, it's accidental, you know, it's incidental, you know. Um, some of you, this can represent um, a, 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 an attraction in your neighborhood or maybe you met, met this person in a neighborhood. This could, this could represent for some of you, this is I don't know why I'm hearing a secret getaway, but this is a secret getaway. That could be in your hometown, somewhere, you know, just somewhere where you can get away, you know, a space for you and them. Now, this could also be in reference to any close connection relationship that you can't help, like siblings. You can't help who your siblings are. You know what I'm saying? Um... You can't help who your neighbors are. And with this nine of wands here, neighbors may be involved, even though I don't see it here, except in this nine of wands. Maybe you're ready to go because of your neighbors. I don't know. You know, maybe you can't be with the one, you know, that, that you want to be with, that you would Feel very connected to you know um to me the lovers represent divine connection something you can't help you're going to experience this we need you too because something needs to be done that only you can do okay you know because the attraction is there you know because you have what the other needs you know um it, it's it's the sign of the twins okay it's the sign of the mirror image So I see somebody definitely putting the gun fist down this month. Okay, she is here. She's putting the gun fist down this month. I'm not fucking playing with you. Did I say peace close? I told you the peace is close. Don't play with me. Okay, don't fuck with me. It's based on spirit. I don't know if it's in your spirit, you know what I'm saying, or spirit leading you to this. Because it's something here it may be something that you asked for, and that may be what comes by surprise, this, that turns out to be good fortune for you, good luck for you, um, where you can put something to rest, put, you know, at least for a little while. Because whoever this is that you been checking, as we say, who going to check me, boo? Because somebody getting checked. But they think this is some bullshit. It, 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 what you're saying is going one end out the other unless it's you. You know, take it as it resonates. It could be on the other side of the, of the fence. You know what I'm saying? The other side of the spectrum. 
But with me knowing the fish, the Pisces, the survivors, the way I do, I feel like this is you checking somebody. Like you don't told them to leave you alone. Gone, gone, leave me alone now. Because I know it's a separation here. It's something, some type of separation is the five of cups. We don't, we, even if we like each other, we don't belong together for some reason. The lovers is here. This is also the breakup call. Because the lover brings breakups and separations. You know, it's natural for siblings to separate as they get older. Even even twins. They, they're very, very, very close. But at some point, they're going to end up separating, having their own life. Right? So, um, who going to check me, boo? This here. You can meet. But... Whatever it's got something to do with this connection, this divine connection. Now, for some of you, this was made something you had wished for and it came true. This may be based on your stardom, your celebrity status, you know, who you are, because you are front and center stage. You know, I'm also hearing a delight. There's a delight. Mm, there's a delight in this. A delightful wish, maybe. Delightful to see you, you know. Because the star is, is, is looked at as beautiful, as sexy. It's got it going on. You know what I'm saying? But, the, you know, there's blood here. We got the Queen of Swords. I'm telling you, somebody's getting ready to get fucked up. The Queen of... You get... When, when, I, when the Queen of Swords says, Stop. Leave me alone. Quit fucking with me. I done told you this once before. You keep pushing me. You really safe. You really safe. You really safe. This is the queen of swords. And you safe. You safe. Why is she talking to you? You pushing buttons though. You doing the most. Because I done told you one, two, three, four, five times. Now you push me to the point where I'm ready to kick your ass. I'm ready to put this bullet in your ass probably. I'm telling you, leave me alone. You doing the most. The fuck? Who is this? They childish. Too old to be acting stupid. I know that. I can tell by this card. Some of you, this is another woman. This is somebody else. This is another feminine, I should say. And this is somebody saying, I'm to get the fuck on. Because of this connection right here. Because what something about the lover's card, it, it, it can't be covered up. And a lot of times, I know it comes with chaos. I know it comes with conflict, you know, before. But there's conflict here. We, we're in the taboo here. There's a lot of taboos in, in, in your month, in your forecast for this month. Because whatever he's doing, it's a taboo. He look like a fucking taboo. You think he know. Whoever this is really pisses you off. But whatever, they too old for the foolishness. For the shenanigans. Whatever it is that they doing. But all I got to say is somebody's on the verge. Peace close. Somebody's on the verge. Queen of Swords here. I'm not playing with you. Somebody's going to get put out or you're going to put somebody out behind this connection. It doesn't have to necessarily be a lover. It could be a sibling. It could be anybody you bonded to. Some other kind of relationship that you could not help or you can't help. 
okay? Your outcome is the Queen of Pentacles this month, and this is you pondering on the necessary, whatever that is. It may be about this piece, pondering on what's necessary. You know, maybe about your dreams and goals, pondering on what's necessary, what you need to do to, in order to solve this problem, you know. Because there's definitely a separation here. You got to think how to get what you want. You got to think. You're pondering something this month. This could be the other woman. This could be a plan for the other woman, for another person. This could be your manager. You may be um, in connections with your manager at the end of the week. I don't know what you are looking over. It could be an evaluation based on your work performance. Because with the Queen of Swords here and the Queen of Pentacles, this could definitely be uh, an executive, a manager of some type. A big head. For some of you, there is something here about family involved. Like I said, if you, somebody's fucking with somebody's family, somebody's family member, maybe it's a sister. But the peace is close, okay? Whatever that means. But for some of you, this is about your stardom, you know, whatever it is that you do in life. I don't know what you, you know, it's important to you, how you look, what you need, you know, uh, how to execute your plan. So you don't have any reason, so I don't really know, you know, again, this could be about buying a piece, literally, you know. It's in that five. Uh, maybe it's about... This is a gift. This is beneficial. This is fire. This is experience. Maybe some of you going to the gun range. This month. Maybe you need some security. I don't know. Because I know you've been the sign that's been having a lot of stalking. For the past couple, three years. And I think it's just now. I just realized it's starting to kind of live. You know, so spend time with your family and stuff to help, you know, lessen your tension and keep your mental health good and so forth, okay? So we have pug, yep, but something stinks, right? Something is repugnant, and, it's, and I'm telling you, it's coming out of this five of cups. Somebody's fucking with you. Maybe this motherfucker do perp or something. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know how it works. Drinking and acting a fool. Doing the most, you know what I'm saying? But this may be you, you know, dealing with your boo, want to be with your boo, but there's something in the mix, you know, something that y'all need to figure out into it, you know? This is you be with your siblings and your friends, you know, spending time, you know, dis you know, pals, discussing shit. Some of y'all discussing spiritual shit. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Let's see what your totem is this month. And if you have not, please go ahead and thumbs up. Wow. You got the B, okay? A lot of love, you know? Hard work, you know? Won't stop till you get enough type energy, okay? So that is your totem for um, the month of September. So you may want to study the B. Look up the B. Um, you know, one thing about the bee that I can definitely identify with, they don't like interruptions. When I'm working, leave me the fuck alone. I don't like interruptions. You know, it's a certain time you should be coming asking me questions, you know. <laughs> and I know that's not always, you know, we're not always able to do that, but that's just how I am, you know.
Mike interruption. They put a lot of love in what they do. All right. You got that black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> That's so funny because I was listening to another reading that in black and yellow came out of her. This is so funny. You just can't fabricate this shit. <laughs> I swear. Okay, now hold up there because this. <laughs> Did this be the spiritual be? <laughs> oh, look, God damn it. <laughs> what's up? So, so it's gonna be telling shit. Okay, what's up? Spiritual path. Yeah. So there you have it for the month of September. And I'm gonna leave it. Here, survivors, thank you so much for tuning in to the Soul Station here with the Spiritual Bee. You know, I can't wait to bring you another one. And until then, uh, you know, do whatever it takes to make you happy. You know, do what it takes to stay healthy and to live your truth.